You're so big, Max. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the GHD studio, where we're live celebrating our official Good Hair Day. So we have a fantastic evening tonight, and what better way to launch our newest product, Max, with our two global ambassadors, Adam Reed and Charlotte Mensa. So now, let's look at the tech video. Right, so now you've had a look at the text of the new fantastic Max Styler, we are going to showcase a gorgeous look from our very creative global ambassador Adam Reid. But why don't we have a look at what he's done earlier to prep the hair? Here I'm using my GHD Max to create beautiful texture. It's one of the things that for me never goes out of fashion that clients are always asking for that great texture. And what I love about using the Max to just create movement, kinks and bends, which is one of the things that I absolutely love, is the fact that the plate is bigger, so you get that really, really deep movement in the hair. So here, I'm just gently closing my plate down. I'm wrapping and pressing the hair, and you can see this incredible shine. I prepped the hair with Curly Ever After so that I get longevity, but still an incredible looseness. And you can just see how that opens up and creates this incredible bouncy movement. And again, there is no uniformity to way that, the way that I'm going into the hair with this because I want it to have a really beautiful, modern, tousled finish. So each side I go in in the opposite direction I follow that right the way through, so gently pressing, and you can see this incredible movement that you get into the hair, and then you get this great bend and that beautiful kink in the hair, and I follow that through. And again, for this sort of season, although we're not seeing masses and masses of trends, what we're seeing is amazing movement. And think of the sort of the shag haircuts, think of, you know, that really beautiful movement that we're seeing coming from the runways. Um, and this allows you to do it with one pass right the way through. So again, you have your jaw zone technology. So I know that my hair is gonna be prepped perfectly from root through to tip, and I know I'm gonna have longevity. So matching my max with my curly ever after gives me a beautiful glossy yet modern finish which is absolutely essential for this look and again i don't want the hair to be too uniform and although i'm using the same technique i'm kicking it up i'm kicking it down and then i'm also going in and pushing the max down through the hair and it gives me that really nice soft worn in texture and you can see how i can just gently aerate this shape out it's bouncy, it's modern, and it's got a great movement in the hair. So I'll follow that through exactly the same. So here I'm going above. I'm following that right the way down through to the end, and then I just let that drop. And again, this is a polished version of a really sort of beautiful modern wave. And again, you can go as bouncy, as fluffy, as aerated, or as smooth and glossy as you want, and that will come from how you finish the hair off at the end. The sections that I'm taking, I would say, are about an inch and a half deep. Again, I'm going in without too much uniformity because I want this to look really nice and sort of that French girl hair, that really soft, 
tousled sort of modern movement. So again, I don't want anything too uniform. A really good mist of Curly Ever After. What's great about these products as well is they protect the hair up to 220 degrees, which is incredible. Obviously, GHD is set at the optimum styling temperature, so you are maximizing your shape and minimizing damage to the hair by using your GHD Max. And again, with our jaw tone technology, you get perfect, precise movement from root through to tip. So thank you so much for sharing your steps, Adam. The Max Styler truly is a fantastic styler for getting through your hair in half the time. So Adam, let's go over to you and have a look at your gorgeous model. Thank you very much, Janine. <laughs> it's a pleasure being here. It's a pleasure talking about Max as well. It's, it's one of my favorite tools, as everybody knows. And again, what I love about the, the texture that we've created today is there is no uniformity here. But because of the plates, it was a very sort of quick technique, but hugely effective, which again, for me in the salon is absolutely essential. And then when I'm recommending to my clients to use at home, what is so good about the Max is the fact that you get that incredible shine. And as I said, if you're using Curly Ever After, you get that incredible movement and hold, and you can just see the flexibility and the pliability of this hair. Now we prepped this quite a bit earlier, and you can just see how it's got that really beautiful form. It's got an incredible kink. It's got those bends in the hair, but it's a modern, fresh, aerated texture. And again, what's so lovely about this is this will just go from strength to strength. And because we've prepped, set a great foundation into the hair, we've got this incredible finish, this incredible movement that we know will just get better and better. It's absolutely gorgeous. I just love the texture. So Adam, obviously you're super busy in the salon when we're able to style here. <laughs> um, who would you recommend Max for? Who's who's the client for Max? Well, do you know, I love I I love Max pretty much for anybody, especially if they need that sort of speed when they're styling. But people with thicker hair. Now, today this hair, there's a lot of hair here, but it's slightly finer. And what's lovely about this is, as I said, it was quick, but because you've got that much thicker plate, you get this incredible texture coming through and you can just see how that gives you a really beautiful, bouncy, modern, you know, we called it the cool girl hair, it really does give you that effect, but the shine and the gloss is incredible. For a client that has thicker hair and they want to pass, and I'm gonna show you in a minute, um, one of our models from earlier who had the most incredible hair, but with the Max, it was a really quick pass through the hair. We know we're getting, mixing it with our um, products, we're getting that three times um, less frizz in the hair. And what's incredible is the fact that you know that it's quicker, you know that you get a full effect, and clients absolutely love the fact that it's just that bit quicker. Absolutely, and I think on that, when we're talking about you know the plates, so they're 70% wider the plates, so they really do give you a very different curl or wave in the hair as well. Absolutely. Than anything that we have. So. Absolutely, and again, I think that what you can see here, it's that more opened wave. We're seeing such beautifully conditioned hair coming out of lockdown where people haven't been colouring their hair and they haven't been doing um, so much on their hair. And what's so lovely for me about the Max, as I said, it's a lot quicker, but the fact that you get this really worn in texture. And again, 70s have been uh, something that's been trending quite a lot with the shag haircut, with those sort of softer, more tousled texture. And that's what you see here. But also it's the pliability and the flexibility of the hair. It's absolutely incredible. It's absolutely gorgeous. I am just loving that texture. <laughs> and I'm just putting a little bit of final finish in the hair so that I can get that lift. And again, I'm lifting up the hair. And what's so lovely about this movement is the fact that it's that little bit looser. And you can see as I get that into the hair, you get the movement, you get that little bit of volume, but it looks fresh and it looks really, really well conditioned, but with that really modern finish. It's gorgeous. So just to touch on technology of Max before we move on, um, it has a dual zone technology in the Max Styler. So really, really great technology to kind of work through the hair super fast. 
So what we'll do now is quickly have a look at the behind the scenes campaign video. Okay, so now you've seen Adam's first look, we have the very talented Global Ambassador Charlotte Mensa here, who is the queen of textured hair. And what better way to show us how to use the fantastic Max Seidler. So I'm going to show you how Charlotte has prepped the hair first, and then we can talk to Charlotte on how she finishes the look. So I'm using straight on. I'm gonna put a few drops of that in my hand. Then I'll just emulsify and just apply it to the middle ends and ends. And then take in quite thick sections, so quite thick sections. Like, it doesn't have to be too small, but quite like a good, you know, nice thick section. So as you can see, I'm able to take really large sections because the plates are 70% larger and it really gets through the hair so easily and such a beautiful finish. I am taking the sections through quite like slowly. So don't rush it, just like, do you see how I'm using it quite slowly? Just pass it on slowly. And then the next section. Really, really easy to work with. Just take your time and just slowly just work your way down to the middle and the ends. So as you can see, the hair is lovely and smooth and it's like got a really, really nice sheen. But I just want to finish it off with a lovely like natural soft wave. So I'm going to section the hair into like quite big sections and then I'm going to divide it into two sections again and then just twist it so twist the hair around each other so just like this and what this would create is a lovely soft wave Now I'm going to just twist the, the braid around the base of the hair. And just twist it. And I'm just using a section clip just to hold it in place. So Charlotte, obviously you've just showed us how to kind of smooth that natural texture out on long, thick, naturally textured hair and you've put that amazing shape back in it. So can you tell everyone what you're going to do next and what the finish is going to be? So the finish is going to be like a very soft, undone, effortless, just a little bit of texture in the hair. So sometimes what I find with clients is like they love the hair straight the first day but then the second day, they just want a little bit of movement, but they don't necessarily want to go over it with the straightness again. So this is a really good way to create a lovely soft texture. And it just gives you a little bit of texture. It's not too much, but it just shows like a nice natural wave. So I'm just diffusing it now, just quickly, just okay. to, a quick, quick diffuse, just to <laughs> go through it. So 
So it really just sets it nicely, yeah? Put them. And then I'm just going to undo them, so... Fantastic. So while you're undoing mm -hmm. your movement, um, I'll just touch on the research and development that was went into the Max Styler. So as um, you guys hopefully are aware, we have a research and development lab in Cambridge where we have scientists whose main job is to develop the most innovative tools to control hair through heat. We're all about creating gorgeous, wearable, long-lasting styles, but it has to be healthy. So all our GHD products are set at 185 degrees. So what that will do is it will maintain the health of the hair, but also let it last, so it will not drop out. And as you guys know, Charlotte deals with a lot of different textures. And what's really important is that hair reverts back to its natural curl or its natural texture if it's had any heat styling. And with the GHD Max Styler and the Dual Zone technology, it will keep the integrity of the hair and let it revert back to that natural movement. Yeah. It's amazing, the GHD tools, because it works so well on textured hair. And I just love the fact that you know, because everyone talks about heat damage, but it doesn't do that because of the um, temperature being at 185. So I'm just using a tiny bit of the... Is it... Sh <laughs> trying to get all the names right. Shiny, shiny ever after. <laughs> shiny ever after. Just a little bit on the hair first. And just a tiny bit on my hands as well. And I'm just going to unravel these twists. So this is amazing because uh, your model obviously had a specific texture in her hair. Yeah. And you've managed to kind of smooth that tighter texture out and now you've got a completely different shape and mould in the hair. Yeah. So she can easily do this herself. It's like a nice, really natural, soft wave. And, you know, it's, it's, it's quite easy to do. And also she's not having to use too much heat, but she's able to get another texture. And I think that's really, really important because everyone's always like, oh, I want to use the heat stylus, but I don't want to use it too often. So at least you can still get, you know, a nice look out of it, but not over styling it sort of, you know? Yeah. And guys, you know, as a brand, we have a fantastic um, product range that has a heat protection system of 220 degrees. So, you know, we do have strong power couples throughout our whole portfolio of products. So it is really important as a customer or as a professional stylist that you use that heat protection on your hair and you use the correct products to give you that longer lasting style. Look at these waves. Wow, I'm loving that. So nice. So nice. So you're just kind of dressing it out with your fingers, yeah? Yeah, just with your fingers, a little bit of the product on my hands. And just really just playing with it. Like you can, you know, move it around a bit more and just really get your hands in there. But it just gives you that lovely movement. But it's not, you know, it's not like, I mean, it's still like, um, how can I put it? If she, if she still kind of wants to get more out of the straightness, she can because it's still quite straight, but it's not as sleek as when we originally did the use the max yeah. you know so it has a bit more i really love it's, it it's looking great yeah it's so nice so guys just on an extra note we are celebrating 20 years of ghd so the brand is 20 years old and i've been around for half of that time so i'm <laughs> feeling rather old um so um what better way to celebrate than doing a global stylathon. So after Charlotte showed you this look, we do have a few other amazing countries that are going to showcase some amazing hair that they've created with the Mac Styler. Great. Yes. Looking looks great, so Charlotte. Amazing. It looks so good. Love it. Yes. Thank you very much. Your model is beautiful. It looks amazing and it really, really looks good. Okay, guys. So what we'll do now is we're going to head over to Germany where we can see the Max in action. And just as a quick side note, every country is um, sticking to their local government guidelines with COVID. So let's have a look at Germany.
here we're gonna really share how Max works with maximum effect. We're going to go from natural hair to really beautifully straight. I'm gonna be using the ultimate power couple. Um, and I'm just gonna work through the hair. I'm going to use a paddle brush today, but you could also use the GHD dressing brush. Um, and you literally use the brush to guide the styler. So it makes it really simple. It helps you to get rid of any tangles in the hair. And it's just a brilliant way of guiding the um, styler through the hair. So I'm just gently brushing the natural movement out of the hair. Um, there is no product in this at the moment. There is no preparation. Um, so this will show you how incredible the max is on natural hair. It's great on every hair type, but in the salon for my clients, if I'm backstage at a show and I really need to prep hair, I'll always reach for the max. Um, of course, it's GHD, so it's 185 degrees. Um, optimum styling temperature for hair. So you get an absolutely incredible finish really quickly um, and really effortlessly. Um, and then the longevity is amazing. And again, that's so important. So I'm just sectioning the hair off. Now, when you use a styler, sectioning the hair is key. Um, you don't just want to sort of go into the hair and start running your styler through. I always section the hair off. And again, what that does is just gives you a really clear space to work on. I am then, as I said, I'm using my Max and straight on this is the ultimate power couple. Uh, it helps to give longevity uh, three times less frizz when you use that power couple. And that's essential, you know, in looking after your hair, keeping your hair in great condition, and keeping the longevity of your style is essential. So three times less frizz when you use straight on and your GHD Max together. If you don't use your straight on product, it's two times less frizz. So you can see the benefits of using those products together. So fast forward to incredibly finished hair that you really can only get with a Max in the time that it took me to get this. Now, I wasn't gonna waste your time and, and get you to watch me do the whole prep. As a professional and as a hairdresser, I would recommend that you prepare the hair and blow dry and you work your max through the hair. I've told you about the benefits um, and we've used um, straight on here as well so that you get that incredible finish, that amazing shine and three times less frizz, which is amazing, you can see here. Also, if you're at home and you want to do something really quick, just mist your hair with straight on, your natural texture, and then you pass your max through the hair from root through to tip. So a gentle mist. I am going to use my GHD paddle brush, my max, I'm lifting the hair. I am running through. Now you can see we've prepped the hair. I prepped the hair with a Helios and a large ceramic bristle brush. I pass this through the hair and you can see I'm pressing the hair down. Honestly, I call this type of straight hair the little black dress of hair. It's that hair that looks incredibly perfect. It's effortless. It's timeless, but it's absolutely perfect. And again, with the Max, what you can see here, look at that incredible shine in the hair. You've got light reflection, you've got volume and movement, and absolutely no frizz, which is amazing. And again, the longevity here, this will last. You've pressed down the cuticle, you've got incredible light reflection, but you're also preventing moisture being able to penetrate the hair. So this will last longer. And again, because of the size of the plate on Max, you have this incredible, glossy, shiny, healthy, yet full of life finish. So remember, I would recommend that you, sh you shampoo your hair and you blow dry. If you don't have time, that's absolutely fine. Spray the straight on and pass your Max through the hair. If you do have time or you're in a salon, have a really nice blow dry, set a great foundation, and then you get, as I said, what we call the little black dress of hair. It's that timeless, classic, 
beautifully conditioned, ultra straight but full of life hair. Really is, it's one of those sort of hairs. When you do this on yourself or you get it done in a salon, it's head turning hair and glossy to the absolute max. Thank you so much, Adam. That really was the perfect straight. And the Max Styler is definitely the right styler to get through that long, thick, or naturally textured hair. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to Charlotte's model and see what she's done for prep before we go into her finished look. So I'm spraying on some Curly Ever After because this is a brilliant heat protector, especially on curly textures. And it's great for creating um, curls because what would happen is after she's washed her hair and she wants to wear it in this natural state, the curls would just bounce back and it's brilliant because it's lightweight. So taking quite thick sections. So just pass the max right through, like really slowly. I'm just going to straighten it out first, just to get. And now I'm going to use it in a vertical direction, just to get a nice, like a push down wave, nice. I love working with GHD Max because the plate is 70% wider and it really smooths the hair quickly, especially on textured hair. And also, it you know, the heat stays at 185, so it has that integrity where if the model was to wear a hair curly, it will still remain textured it wouldn't it wouldn't lose that that curl it wouldn't lose the the naturalness of the hair fantastic results on naturally textured hair and it was a beautiful glossy soft wave so what we're going to do now is take you back and have a look at Charlotte's model with her natural texture and Charlotte can talk a little bit more about the curls and how it's important for them to revert back to their natural movement over to you Charlotte thank you so it's incredible how the um the, tool, the tools work so well on textured and afro curly textures because like Janine said, we straightened their hair out earlier, it was really smooth and sleek, but now look, we've washed the hair back, prepped it, and look at her curls. There's no heat damage, the curls are all nice and defined. I'm just gonna finish off by diffusing the top so you could actually see how brilliant these tools are. Great, so just before you put the hair dryer on, um, quick question, what is your client's main concerns in the salon when you're using any type of heat on their hair? So most clients right now are all worried about heat damage. Everybody's scared that they don't want to lose their natural curl pattern. They want to see their kinks and their coils and their curls. So everyone's like running away from heat, but with GHD, it keeps that natural texture. You're not going to lose your curls. You have that beautiful finish with the tools, but at the same time, that natural texture is still there. It's, you're not going to lose your curls. It's brilliant. So let me just show you how I finish this off. If you put your head down for me. So I'm just going to use the, the nozzle, the... Diffuser. <laughs> diffuser, my mind right now. <laughs> the diffuser. So just really just 
Get some nice definition in the hair. It's beautiful, like how the, you can just switch it up, you know? It's so amazing how the hair could look straight one day and then the next day you can have your curls back. So Charlotte, when you're using the Helios hair dryer, um, is there any tips on how to diffuse naturally textured hair perfectly? Because you know a lot of a lot of feedback is you know they make it frizzy, they over dry it. Is I, there a tip on how to do it perfect? I think really make sure that when you before you start that the hair is almost really dripping wet. I always do it from when the hair is quite wet, and then um, make sure you put in enough leave-in conditioner. And then um, I love using Curly Ever After. That is such a great product because it really keeps the curls and really defines the hair. But Thank I mean, the diffuser are. is amazing because um, these prongs are so good at locking in the curl and really getting the volume. Great, so while Charlotte is finishing off drying the hair, why don't we take a closer look at the technology in the Mac Styler? So as I've already mentioned, we have dual zone technology. So we work on an optimum temperature of 185 degrees. This is the safest temperature for any hair type. What that dual, technology, dual zone means is there's independent heaters and infinity sensors on each side of the plate. So it's super reactive and you're able to get through the hair and get that consistent finish in the hair. We also have, as we've already mentioned, our 70% larger plates. So this is just going to really help you cut down the styling time when you're either in the salon or when you're at home doing your hair yourself. Okay, wow. It's amazing. Do you see what I mean? That like, there's no heat damage because what a lot of clients fear is the fact that when they do wear their hair back curly, there will be straight bits. But as you can see, there's no straight bits. It's just nice and just amazing. I think, you know, for someone who doesn't have naturally textured hair, I've got thick, like thin hair, but I have thick extensions in. Yeah. But for me, my hair is super straight. So for me, I want movement to last. But, mm -hmm. you know, this is the opposite end of the spectrum. This is naturally textured hair. And the key is reverting back to that natural movement. And 100%. It's brilliant because, like I said, everyone's scared of heat damage. They don't want to use the straighteners. But honestly, the max, it's... Definitely the best tool out there. Sorry, I'm playing with my hair so much. I love it so much. <laughs> it's lovely. We love your hair, Charlotte. Yeah. yeah okay, it's, it's so, so good. while um, Charlotte's just finishing that off, Grant, do you have any questions from uh, the audience? Yeah, so I've got a couple here. Um, but one of them really that I want to ask you is we've obviously got such a great style of range. What, um, or why would you pick GHD Max up over, say, one of our other stylers? Do you, do you want me to answer that? Um, I don't mind either one. I can answer a bit as well. But I think for me, I feel like it's so easy to work with. The plates are 70% bigger and it's, it's so, the finish is unbelievable, yeah. honestly. I think, you know, for, for us as a brand, we have a full portfolio of products and we have different technologies within our products. And when we use Max, it's great for that long, thick, or naturally textured hair. The plates are larger, so you can get through the hair in half the time. 
However, with, for instance, our Platinum Plus, which is our very top technology, this is the tool of versatility. So it's got ultra zomoth predictive technology, but it's a, a versatile tool, so you can create many different styles, many different waves and curls. So, you know, there is definitely a product for everyone within the styler range. What's your next question, Grant? Oh, so there's one here for Charlotte, actually, and I just wanted to sort of know what inspires your creativity with hair? Oh, so many things. Um, the people that I meet every day, um, life, life itself inspires me. Um, I, love, I love people, so the more people I'm around and having their, you know, them sharing their stories with me, that really amazes me. I love African culture and the traditions, so that inspires me too. But um, I think most of all, just everyday life really inspires me, just going through, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think especially now, we are in the world of lockdown. Um, yeah. So I think looking at things on social media, you know, I am inspired every day from sometimes little kids who can breed hair better than me as a professional stylist, so yeah. Um, <laughs> The world has changed lives. in a yeah. great way. <laughs> <laughs> so this is beautiful, Charlotte, and the texture is just fantastic. Honestly, like I said, you know, there's no heat damage. All the curls are nice and defined. She hasn't lost any curls. There's no straight bits, because that's another thing that people complain about. Oh, after I straighten my hair, I've washed it, there's straight bits. I don't want that, but this doesn't do that. It's such a good technology, the GHD straighteners. And Max, I think, is just going to smash the world right now. Well, thank you so much, Charlotte. Um, your model is beautiful. Looks great. OK, guys, so let's head over to Spain and see what Spain are doing with the Max Styler. Okay, so what we're going to do now is look at Adam's last model. Let's look at how he's prepped the hair and then what he's going to do next. Grant is assisting me tying the pony. We're in full COVID safe mode. Um, this look, it's one of those looks that it can create something absolutely incredible really easily. Um, you can place the ponytail wherever you want on the head. So although we're gonna place this quite high, because I'm gonna go for something that's beautiful and glam, using my GHD Max just to give us that beautiful, slightly 70s texture in the hair. But you could actually place these ponytails anywhere on the head. So once you've got this technique mastered, it's just about where you want the shape and where you want to achieve the movement. But for maximum effect, today I'm taking this quite high onto the head. And again, Grant is helping me as I would in the salon if I was on a shoot backstage at a show. Uh, Grant's gonna be tying the pony for me with three millimeter round elastic. Um, because that gets that really nice firm hold um, so that you can get a really great effect. So I'm brushing the hair up with my dressing brush. I'm then using the warmth in my fingers just to mold the hair into place. And then I'm gonna gr guide Grant through the tie. So I'm holding that between my thumb and my forefinger and that gives me a really strong hold. So Grant, if you could go in from the front, please. That's right, thank you. And then wrap, and then go back to the front, 
tight. Thank you. And uh, so I'm guiding Grant with my fingers here. So we're going down and then back. And then if you could tie behind and then wrap to the front again. Again here, this is just me guiding so we get the ponytail exactly where we need it. And you can see I've split this into two. And the reason that I do this is for comfort, but also carry on round. And if you go round until we run out of elastic now, Splitting it into two gives you comfort and it means that you can move so the model will be really comfortable underneath um, because you're splitting that in half. If you were tying that in one, it can be a little bit too tight. So this is a really nice tip for tying a really great pony. Thank you. If you could tie that now double at the front for me, please. That's it. And again, I'm guiding the elastic here from the top down with my fingers and then Grant is wrapping as I'm guiding. So again, that's a really great way. I pop my finger so we can get a great secure tie. We'll tie that and then we'll pull the rest of the hair in. Thank you. So there you can see that's a really secure, tight pony. And as I said, what I'm going to do here is something with a little bit of a 70s twist. The texture that I'm gonna create with my GHD Max is gonna be a really, sort of worn in soft tousled texture, but beautifully polished. And again, using the Max for me just allows me not to have to think about getting that polish into the hair. So then I take my clip away from the front. I use my dressing brush. And again, because I want this to look soft, um, and to have a really nice movement. I'm not going in with product at this point because I'm keeping all of this soft hair loose around the front. If I wanted this really, really clean and really sleek, I would polish down the surface with my GHD Max. I would make sure that I've got those hairs pressed in and then I would run through with um, my finishing hairspray just to get that finish. Because we want this soft, and to have that sort of bardo -y feel, that really beautiful modern feel. I'm just keeping that a little bit looser and I'm gonna be using my Max just to polish that through the ends. So then I pull that into the pony, get that really nice and secure. You can see I've got that little bit of lift through the front. And again, if you could go in from the front for me, nice and tight, and then I'll guide Grant to take that down. And you can see how we get that beautiful cushioned effect. As I said, go nice and tight there for me, please, Grant. As I said, if you want that really clean, you would prepare the hair with the GHD Max first. But because I want a soft, slightly worn in feel, which is absolutely on trend at the moment, that 70s feel. We're going in with a little bit of lift into here. I'm then gonna create the texture on this incredible head of hair. Thank you very much. Carry that round until we run out of elastic, please. And what you can see here, that sits really firm. You've got that great security in the hair. That's it, we'll tie there, please and you've got that really beautiful, slightly cushioned feel to the hair, which lends itself well to that really beautiful, tousled, worn in texture that we're gonna create. But even if you're just looking to create a beautiful pony here, you could go in nice and sleek. What you can see here is you just get that beautiful, really nicely constructed hold here on the band, and then you've got that really nice shape that I'm then gonna go in and create a beautiful texture and create a beautiful, modern, little bit Bardo inspired updo. So Adam, do you want to talk us through what you're creating right now? Because this looks really amazing. So Absolutely, I just wanted to show something different. And again, I've been asked a lot. Everybody knows I love a Max. It's sort of one of my first GHD tools that I really got creative with. Again, that's due to the fact that the plate is a bigger plate. We know we have the protection. We know that it helps us to defrizz. If we're not using our products, it's 20%. Uh, Less frizz, less frizz? 
so that right? Two times less. Two times less <laughs> frizz. And with the product, it's three exactly. times less frizz. Yes. But again here, what I'm looking for is that really nice movement. We put the ponytail in. I'm doing what we call the pushback press. So literally, I'm taking the hair and tucking it and gently pressing the shape into the hair. So again, this is a little bit more 3D than say a Scandi wave that sits yes. flatter, but you get this incredible movement. And then what I can do is just gently pinch the hair, which I absolutely love, and then just press that in. And what you can see you get with that very quickly, you get that incredible shape. So I'm gonna to start to dress the hair now. As I've gone through, I've gone through with no uniformity. So when I was pushing back and pressing, I was taking pieces of hair and I was letting them tuck back onto each other and then pressing. And what is so beautiful here is, it gives me this amazing texture that I can then play with. So in the salon, or if I'm on a shoot, or I am looking to create volume and movement, and I have my one tool. This is the tool that I would pick up. I, I, yeah, I was so excited when we started to re-look at how the Macs work and, and sort of talking about how I use it and share with other hairdressers and with the experts down in Cambridge, talking about why this is such an important part of my kit. Because sometimes on a shoot, I have a model turn up with incredibly thick hair Hairdresser always gets blamed, as everybody knows. So I need to know that I can pick up a tool that will give me the finish that my client, whoever I'm working with, expects in less time without compromising the condition of the hair. And that's essential for me. And again, what you can see here, as I start to shape the hair, this is that sort of, everybody knows how much I love Bridget Bardot. And because I've not been doing so much hair of late, it's so nice to be back doing hair. Um, and what I'm doing here, you can see just how I can shape this around and start to create this incredible movement. Again, if I was using a tong, I would have real uniformity, which I absolutely loved, but I wanted something that really emphasized the shape. And Sam's hair, I, we realize that we've worked together for years, haven't we, on TV shows and all sorts of different things. Sam's got the best hair but there is a lot of it. This didn't take us any time at all to create. It was, we put the hair in, you could see that beautiful cushion shape through the front. And again, what's lovely with the Max, if I wanted that sleek and smooth coming through, I would have just pressed the surface of the hair. We didn't want that today. We wanted a little bit of movement. So I just lifted, ran through, and then used a little bit of product on my finger to gently work that in. Again, I'm using the perfect ending. It's giving me a, quite a happy ending today, I'll tell you, <laughs> with this uh, beautiful little updo. But what you can see is a much more modern shape. And then I've sprayed my pins. I'm just gently pushing them into where I put the bun ring. And then I'm allowing the hair to move. So we have one ponytail. I've used pins just to hold the bun rings together. And then because I've got this incredible texture, I'm just gently gathering the hair in my pin, pushing the pin into the bun ring. And because I've sprayed with perfect ending, that as that dries, that sticks into the hair. And you can just see this amazing, beautifully voluminous, beautifully modern. You can see that whole sort of Bridget Bardot inspiration. But then we've got this amazing shape coming through. And at the moment, we've just got two pins in there. I'm gently gathering the hair as I go round, and I'm just pushing that back in onto itself. And again, it's quite big. It's got that little bit of a sort of a more messy shape. But if you want that polished, you just keep it really nice and flat, really nice and soft. And what you can see is this incredible shape coming through. Again, what I was talking about earlier was the fact that this sort of updo is amazing because you can go as big, as wild, as long as you have put your preparation in, you pretty much can do anything. And again, as a hairdresser, that's so important, but also for me to inspire my clients and show them the versatility. You can see I've now just got five pins in there. That I'm, looks so secure already with just five does pins. Does it feel secure? She's wow. saying that. She's not moving an inch. <laughs> because I've threatened that I'll uh, go at her with the max. Um, and again, just to tidy up a little bit 
of product. So what I've done is I've sprayed perfect ending onto my dressing brush. You can see around the edges how I then can just clean up that edge of the hair, but I've got this really beautiful, soft, feminine tousled movement. And again, I'm just gonna gently pinch some of this hair out this is a little bit more creative. This is more for the hairdressers. You're not going to go down to uh, Sainsbury's like this. I would. Not many people would. But you can see how I can really create something that's a little bit more editorial. It's got that beautiful softness. It's that classic sort of shape. But what I've done is I've created a beautiful texture that allows me then to create an incredible shape. And just to get that really beautiful softness, Again, the pushback press. Just press that shape into the hair. Gently manipulate and move that. And you can see how that just really gives it a beautifully soft, tousled, really feminine, but a little bit more of an editorial feel. Wow. So, Grant, do you have any questions for Adam? Yes. So, as it is our 20, 20th year, um, Adam, what um, was your first memory of GHD? So it was 20 years, so I was four when GHD <laughs> launched. So I remember my mum. <laughs> That's not true. I was way older than that. Uh, do you know what? I was teaching one day and I was down in Bristol actually and somebody came past and they were talking about GHD as a hairdresser and he came in. I was in a salon teaching and he bought it in and I used to have this big brick-like straightener. And I saw this tool and I was like, that's not going to do anything. And it, I remembered swiping it through my model's hair and just the shine, the gloss, and I was hooked. I remember it was about 109 pounds and I was like, I've never spent that on a tool ever. Um, and it was the best money I ever spent because what it did, it did for me, it's revolutionized the way that I saw hair. And I think that when people watch, you know, we've seen a beautiful, glossy, straight head of hair today. We've seen Charlotte create incredible natural texture. For us, having an incredible set of tools is so important. It's, you know, next to our hands, it's the most important thing we have and to be so involved in the technology, but also then the creativity, being able to create shapes. I remember that first day like it was yesterday and the excitement that I get when I see what they can do. And it really was revolutionary. Everybody remembers their first GHD experience. I mean, I personally, myself, always remember it said to straighten or to curl. And I could not get my <laughs> head around it being able to put a curl in the hair because back then, the only thing that could curl your hair was a tongue. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but it gave the best curls. Us in the salon, we used to all argue over who was getting the GHD because we wanted to use it. Well, do you know what, and as well, and what I think is absolutely amazing, when you think of, people say, oh, do you GHD your hair? Yeah. I think that is testament to what an incredible brand it is. But also, you know, no brand is, is, is better than its tools. And actually, it's, the, it's testament to how incredible these yeah. tools are. 20 years later, that people still say, oh, can you just DHD my hair? Always fills me with pride. It's like my children. Absolutely, and I think, you know, for us, it's all about that research and the innovation that goes into our products. You know, they're used and recommended by the professional, but also for that consumer at home. Love this, Adam. So again, as I said, this is a little bit more editorial, but what I wanted to share with you, you've seen how we do a perfectly straight hair. You've seen how we're really respectful to natural hair. It's also great just to see how you can really, really mold and make hair a fiber by using a tool and an incredible product. Absolutely fan fantastic. Thank you so much, Adam. Pleasure. Okay, guys, so we hope you've enjoyed this evening with our launch of Max. Um, this is obviously our official Good Hair Day, and we've had so much going on all over the world. Um, most countries have been styling on their social media pages. And of course, we have special thanks to Germany and Spain for showcasing the amazing hair that they did with the Max Styler. So thank you from all of us here live in London, and we hope you've had a good hair day.
I love the GHD Max. I would always pick up GHD Max because I think it is the unsung hero. I love GHD Max um, styler because it gets through the hair, especially very thick hair, in half the time. It leaves it with incredible shine, keeping the integrity of the hair. And it's, it's incredible, yeah, it's so easy to use too, yeah. When working, I think, on any hair, time is money. So we need to be working quickly. So with the mats, it allows me to work really quickly. I think larger sections of hair, you're going through a lot quicker from, from root to tip. I use mats for two times faster styling. And that is perfect if I'm backstage, if I don't have loads of time. We have somebody with a thick head of hair and we need beautifully glossy, shiny, straight hair. It's absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Because it's a wider play, I think you're literally going to get more of an S sort of shape once it's, once it's brushed out and really great for a kind of soft kink or a little flick back. Max is perfect for thick, coarse, long afro hair. Being a wider play it means so many more different shapes that you can make with it. So just for your general wave um, or a curl, you're just going to get a lot more shape, a lot more texture and a lot, a lot more volume. <laughs> If I have a client that wants to see hair perfection from root to tip, I go with my max because it really, really presses, seals and leaves the hair looking perfectly shiny and finished. Any of my clients with thick hair, large masses of volume, um, long lengths as well, and again, maybe someone that's already got a, a styler um, and wants to create different shapes. VHD Max has a dual zone technology, keeping the temperature at 185 and respects the integrity of the hair.